Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to do Vlogmas Day number nine. Can you believe it's already day nine? Um, so this is going to be kind of a continuation of Vlogmas Day eight, which I unboxed my new Giglio um, A6 Campania, the Muppets Collection, the Rolf. So I'm gonna do a flip through because I went ahead and got it set up. And um, yeah, stick around and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome to our channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Enjoy. All right, guys. Here it is. It is the Ralph from the Giglio Muppets Collection. It's a deep, like a chestnut deep brown. It has a lot of natural wrinkles or texture. It is an ostrich print. Um, to me, I don't know too much about ostrich. <laughs> but it doesn't feel pimply or bumpy um doesn't necessarily feel totally flat or smooth either uh it smells delightful so i'm gonna do a quick flip through because i set it up already so i don't have anything over here in my pockets at all and you get the one two three side pockets one two three four like credit card slot pockets it's a campagna so you get the back pocket for larger documents and then on the back side you get these two like credit card slots and you get a zipper oh wow nice zipper And I also have the Giglio pen. And I chose a white one, I think. Shiny silver parts. I, don't think, I think the white only comes in one white. It's not like the black. The black is a shiny black or you can get a matte black. Now, when I unbox my A6 Apunto, I did order the black matte. So I'll see the difference. Uh, so... It has a nice flyleaf on the front. What I did like about this particular one as well is that you get two pen loops. I love that. So many times I've gone through sticking like these little pen thingies that have uh, loops on it, you know, on the planner somewhere or the dashboard or a divider so that I can carry two pens. I'm using my mild liner in brown to match this. And of course my pens are white, so. Moving on, these are everything I, I made. So my, what do you call these? Dashboards? I guess they wouldn't be dividers. These would be, well, I guess they could be dividers. Dashboards are dividers, you know? I don't even know. Anyway, I have four in here. I have a calendar tab, a finances tab, a list tab, and a miscellaneous tab. And then for my side tabs, I have January through June. These I also made myself. And I made these as well as the four top tabs using cardstock. It's some heavy cardstock that I got from Michaels and then I laminated it. Now, I laminated it only because in the past I have previously purchased dividers from Cloth and Paper and their paper dividers are very nice cardstock. But it's still cardstock. So that means it will bend eventually. Uh, so that's why I chose to laminate mine. So the name tabs are actually from my um, label maker. 
So all of my inserts are from a young lady in the Etsy shop. Her Etsy handle, I think it's called Thing K. Lovely, lovely. You will love her inserts. They're very simplistic to me. They're very classy and I really like them. This here is just an overall monthly view and it has important events in it so you can write down things that you want to keep up with for the month. So like a pre-plan kind of thing. And you have an overview of your month here. And then you move into, and I printed mine this way so that I would have an overview because I also use her month on two pages. But when you're using the month on two pages, you're gonna have a blank month here. Unless possibly you print them back to back if you like your months to flow in a separate section. I wanted to do it this way. So I have my month on the page view, overview. And then I have my two months on a page. And then I move directly into my weeks. These, this setup for the weeks are a week on two pages, <clears throat> excuse me, a week on two pages, and it's in a vertical format with your left side page having three days and a uh, preview of the month, and your right side having your other four days. So you get a small little section that you can write notes in here under your monthly uh, overview calendar. This here is a piece of acetate that I made. Um, I'm trying to think when I did my flip through of my other one. I also made these out of here. This is just Cricut acetate. It's very thin and flimsy, but it adds no bulk. That's what I like about it. Okay. Now this here, because that's the month of December, and I don't have that marked with a tab because I wasn't actually going to start using this until January. But I'm trying to decide on what I want to do. If I want to use this or if I want to use my wonderful, wonderful, that I just got, my Hobonichi. But I'm using my Hobonichi actually to journal. But... It's an A6 and I thought, oh, okay, well, you could keep everything in here, but I kind of do like the week layout. So, oh, you know what, I'm, I'm getting off track here because this here is something totally separate. Let me move away. Okay, so the next insert that I do have is actually from a shop on Etsy called Sterling Inc. Now this is a monthly, I'm sorry, a yearly overview on one page. I really like that so that I don't have to flip back and forth with half of the month being on one page and the other half being on the other page. I know visually you get a bigger, you know, bigger layout so that you can see, but what she does with hers as well is she gives you the highlighted in gray, the weeks, so if you're someone where your job does things by the week or something like that, you can look anywhere in whatever month and find whatever week it is. She also highlights the uh, major holidays and she just circles it so that you can see it. So it's just a quick glance. And then on the back side of that, she gives you um, January to December and I chose to just use it for my family's birthdays. That's it. So then moving on into my actual months, yet again for 2020 and not 2019, the answers are just the same. Everything is the same. So I have my monthly overview, my month on two pages, and then it goes into my weeks. That's the only thing I have. I don't use dailies. Um, because I found myself, when I first started really trying to get into planning, I found myself having months, weeks, and days. And I thought, oh, well, you know, I can't use this for that, I can't use this for that, yada, yada, yada. It was just too much. So instead of being repetitive, putting stuff 
from the months to the weeks and to the days. I just strictly use the week on two pages and then the months. So again, like I said, everything is the same all the way through June. And then that's it. And then in my finances side, uh, my finances tab, I have another insert from Sterling Inc., which is her, uh, I guess it could be like forward planning. It's a year, six months on the front, six months on the back, and it's a fold out. So what I use it for are my monthly bills, tracking my monthly bills. So I have everything in here and I have it color coded and that's how I'm going to use that. My next section is lists. The only thing I have in here right now is a printout, which was a freebie from the planner spot for the gift list that I'm using for this year. And then my last tab I have is my miscellaneous tab. Now in here, this is also from Sterling Inc., which is a, I can't remember if I just shrunk this down, but it gave you, I think it was two months on a page or something to that effect. And I was going to use this for my work schedule just to write in the hours I'm working per block so that I know what I was doing. And then I also have another yearly, well, these are months, months on two pages, but they're printed back to back. I don't know what I'm going to use this section for. I printed this first and, um, I didn't really like it because I didn't want the months to go back to back that way. And I couldn't figure out how to switch them up the way that I did it previously with, uh, Think K's inserts. And so far, that's all that I have in this little puppy. So, that's my ASICs set up going into 2020 in rings. It's a Giglio ASICs Campania from the Muppets collection, The Ralph. Thanks for watching. Bye.